if I wanted to, I can go get that brownie, okay? Maybe I might have a portion of it, whatever, but the thing is, just like, I have a rough idea. And that kind of goes similar to what I was saying is, you know, the thing is, is that being knowledgeable of your nutrition or mindful of it, So, what y'all see going on right here, if y'all guessed it, y'all probably right, right? They got a meal prep, okay? Done by the dorm chef himself, okay? And I call myself a dorm chef, you know why? Because I got myself a microwave. I blast whatever the hell I need to cook. And guess what? It gets me by and it allows me to put together some simple behind-ass meals. You know why? It's simple because simple is, is you know what I'm saying, that, that, that gets you by. Simple gets you by. It don't got to be elaborate. It don't got to be confusing. It don't got to be pretty. It don't got to be ugly. Let me tell you. Apple, okay? Fruits. Got my carb source, I got rice, okay? Don't be afraid of carbs, okay? That's nonsense. Rice, beans, chicken, okay? And no, no, I don't got a stove, guess what? Chicken that's already cooked from the store, frozen, take it out of the freezer, you gotta go. Microwave, blast that shit, it gets you to where you gotta go to, okay? And then we got some vegetables in here, some broccoli, okay? We got rice, beans, broccoli, and some chicken, okay? And some seasons, of course, because, you know, that's inexpensive. Do a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Do a little bit, all that, all right? But the thing is, it's like, it's a meal. It's a whole, whole entire meal. This right here, my little bowl, Food on the side, got the hydration going right here. That's all you need. And guess what? Look at the scenery, okay? We out here, we, we checking off all the boxes, okay? So we got the activity. I walked out, I, I brought the meal that I made in advance for my busy day. I brought it out, you know, walked on my two legs, brought it out here, checked that one off the list, okay? We got our nutrients, we got some, you know, a lot of stuff going on here. We got a whole fulfilling meal that is gonna make me happy, all right? It might not be specifically what makes you happy, but I enjoy this meal, so therefore it checks off that box, okay? My nutrition is being checked off and it is good in protein carbs and fats a variety colorful all that good stuff right and on top of that it is going to satisfy me and that is another thing that it is not a little brownie it is not a brownie that is this big that is 500 calories and then what and then i'm still hungry no this whole meal in total is about like 550 calories guesstimated right and the thing is is that it is going to satisfy my my actual needs of what is beneficial for me and and, and guess what not to demonize any types of foods beyond this right the thing is is that being that I'm controlled and I'm also, you know, planning ahead and also, you know, taking a step forward to, you know, kind of guesstimation how many calories I'm doing, right? The thing is, is that if I wanted to, I can go get that brownie, okay? Maybe I might have a portion of it, whatever, but the thing is, is like, I have a rough idea. And that kind of goes similar to what I was saying is, you know, the thing is, is that being knowledgeable of your nutrition or mindful of it is going to do you wonders, okay? And in the long run, in the long term, right? You know, just keep a mental, you know, rough guesstimate of what your day is looking like as far as what you put in your mouth, okay? Whether that be a liquid, a solid, or whatever. And the thing is that that can get you far because we all have different requirements, all have different needs, different bodies, different sizes. And we don't all require the same amount of calories, right? But the thing is, is that in the whole day, if you are mindful of your intake, it will allow you to, in my particular opinion, a sense of freedom. Because the thing is, is that you are not questioning oh my god oh i had this and this is gonna throw me off the end no don't don't think of it like that because you know that also limits the experiences and the life of enjoyable life that you can have regarding food and experiences of parties or whatever you want to do okay this is college okay now the thing is let's say for example of going over the edge is that you know if you have something that's high in calories for breakfast okay in a whole day's picture you could eat a little bit less in the later portion of the day I'm not saying eat nothing, but eat a little bit less in order to compensate. And the same vice versa. If you have a little bit less in the day, you can indulge a little more in the later end of the day regarding that calories in the whole day are being accounted for, all right? So in my opinion, it allows me to have a sense of freedom and also it's like a budget, money budget, okay? And it is good practice, you know, because the thing is, is like the more you practice, the better you get at something. And you definitely will get better if you look at your nutrition a little bit more closely as far as the quantity and the amount of calories you are intaking, what you need, and also what the data is showing. You know, maybe you eat, for example, right? Somebody that's not knowledgeable of nutrition. Let's say you kind of roughly guesstimated, you ate 2,300 calories in one day, right? 
and you kind of roughly ate the same thing Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, right? The end of the week, you know, this is all in relation to you weighing yourself, the data portion of it, right? You weighing yourself and you're seeing, or not even weighing, let's say if you're just physically looking at yourself, whether you might be gaining or losing or maintaining, right? Goals are different for every person. And the thing is, is that if you, after Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, roughly tracking your calories and you're looking visually at the data, the data is what you are, you know, physically being, right? The thing is, you can determine whether that's too much, too little, or just the right amount, you know? emotion the way how you feel too you know if you feel energized with a certain amount that you're eating and you, you don't feel bogged down you don't feel dragging you're doing good okay you're in a good spot and it is going to take trial and error it takes trial and error in order to learn these things okay i have been doing this particularly for myself for a long time so i have experience that not everybody can say they have but the experience in itself is what is going to allow me to be better off in the long term and to maintain or whatever goal that i may change to or you know switch towards it allows me to make adjustments accordingly okay that is the main take away from this point right here okay try it out think about it be about it and you know what that freshman 15 ain't gonna come your way okay and i'll tell you that because it's been about five weeks of me being on this campus right i'm in a whole new whole new environment whole new life i'm on my own independent food is scarce okay money is scarce okay obviously you know what i'm saying living that college life okay if y'all know y'all know but my thing is is that i'm thriving okay and I'm thriving because I have, you know, made bumps in the road, of course. Don't don't get me wrong. I'm not no perfect person, but 100% those bumps in the road, look back at it. Now, what we're moving on to, we're going to not do that again, you know. Five weeks I've been here. I have not gained no 15 pounds, and I'm not planning to. And I'm going to keep on implementing what I say, what I preach into my own life, okay. And I'm putting this out there for y'all to benefit and try it out. Try it out. Tell me what you think. Let me know how you feel. Let me know what you're thinking. Let me know what I missed, okay. Drop it down in the comment below, okay. I appreciate y'all for watching. And if y'all got any problems, okay, with nutrition, okay, in the college lifestyle, which I am in right now, let me know, okay? Give me a subscribe, you know, follow the IG, put it right over there, you know what I'm saying? And on top of everything, I appreciate y'all for watching. Look out for the next coming videos, okay? Videos dropping every now and then, okay? But listen, it ain't gonna be too long, in, you know, separation because, you know, this is something I am passionate about. So to end it off right there, I'm gonna eat this food, tear this up, get in that protein, make them gains, and I'm gonna see y'all in the next one.